Hi guys, I'm Aisha, student plantation and agro technology. Uh, this video will show you how to differentiate between RSPO certificate, MSPO certificate, ISC certificate, and ISPO certificate. Please enjoy! This is Mr. Smart, a perfect manager, innovative, far-sighted, and very sensitive to customers' wishes. They are attaching more and more importance to sustainability and climate-friendly behavior. Mr. Smart deals with agricultural raw materials and finished or semi-finished products that are processed into food, used as raw materials in the chemical industry, or for biofuels. His customers ask for reliable proof that the raw materials and processed goods are really produced in a sustainable way and meet legal and voluntary requirements. Mr. Smart knows that many customers request sustainability. But what are the seals worth that are printed on many products today? He wants to have a certificate whose credibility would be doubted by no one, one that is proven and recognized worldwide that is secure, simple, and practical, ecological, and social, with a good image and high acceptance on the market, and all this at favorable costs. But above all, Mr. Smart needs a certificate that documents the path of the biomass along the entire supply chain from the field to the consumer. Because Mr. Smart knows that what is opening up future opportunities today will be indispensable tomorrow. An officially recognized certificate forming the basis for global business with biomass cultivated in an environmentally, climate and socially friendly way. That's a lot to ask. But Mr. Smart found what he was looking for. He discovered a certification system that meets all of today's demands. The name International Sustainability and Carbon Certification or ISCC for short. With ISCC, Mr. Smart and his firm are a good company. A constantly growing number of customers in countries all over the world belong to this system. They all form the world's first officially recognized sustainability system. Their body of rules applies strict standards. To get the ISCC certificate, the biomass cannot be obtained in highly biodiverse or carbon-rich areas. In addition, it allows monitoring of greenhouse gas emissions and emission savings, and has to correspond to good agricultural practices and social criteria. The path the biomass takes from the farm via collection points and distribution centers to consumers is documented by a chain of custody. The same applies to records of greenhouse gas emissions. Based on checklists, independent auditors investigate and certify every step. An exemplary practice that complies with the requirements of the Renewable Energy Directive and has been recognized first by Germany and then by the European Commission. Mr. Smart sees this as giving him an advantage. ISCC is a universal system for all raw materials and all markets. This reduces costs and complexity. And it's a living system that is continually further developed in practical operations. There are four steps on the way to receiving the certificate. New customers register on the ISCC website. Prepare for the audit, have the audit carried out by the certification body, and if successful, in the end, receive the certificate. Sounds easy, and it is. Mr. Smart is happy. For him, the future of biomass and processed products lies in the recognized ISCC certificate. It stands for high credibility, meets the legal requirements in the bioenergy market, and serves the growing demand for reliable proof of sustainability in other markets, such as food production, feed industry, or the biochemical industry. In order to cover these markets and their demands, such as biodiversity and sustainability even more extensively, the new ISCC Plus certificate has been established. Thanks to the ISCC certifications, sustainable behavior is worthwhile. Mr. Smart is actively involved in further developing the system. You can do the same. 
become part of the ISCC family. I have written to the president of the president of the European Commission and uh, members of parliament to explain our stand. Okay. Uh, I also want to say that end of this year 2017, by end of this year, we will launch our first consignment of uh, MSPO certified palm oil to Europe. See, so there's no so far we are just sending palm oil, but our target by this year we will send the first shipment of MSPO certified palm oil to Europe by 2017. Our target is that by 2019 uh, we will ensure that uh, we will have 5 million tons of MSPO certified palm oil to Europe. Right now, uh, we have only around radius about 600,000. So our target is 5 million by 2019. So uh, by this year, we will start the first export of uh, MSPO certificate. Okay? So I know that this is a serious thing. We will continue to engage. As I said, we will work with all the companies. We will work with all the uh, uh, European buyers. Eh? And I, I welcome I welcome uh, Datuk Mustafa uh, statement yesterday that Malaysia will resume FTA talk with European Union because uh, USA has withdrawn from the TPPA so Topa announced yesterday that they are going to resume talk with FTA or between European Union and Malaysia to me uh, it will be it's very important we hope that the talk can be done and can materialize very fast because European Union and their countries have been taking so many actions against palm oil unfair labeling proposal to tax so if we have a free trade arrangement with Europe then it will help Malaysia palm oil a lot so that there will be no unfair tariff and then uh, we also want to put the MSPO into the free trade agreement with Europe. Palm oil is used in a wide variety of products, from margarine, soap, cereal, cosmetics, to even biofuel. You'll find more than 50% of products on a supermarket shelf contains palm oil in one form or another. Palm oil contributes about 35% to the global supply of edible oils and its demand is steadily increasing. When grown unsustainably, oil palm agriculture can have a very damaging impact on the environment, destroying our forest and biodiversity. However, if planned and grown sustainably, it can protect our environment and support the livelihood of farmers. Currently, there are millions of smallholders around the world who depend on oil palm for their livelihood. Smallholder farmers produce 40% of the world palm oil, but suffer from low yield. Who are smallholders? In general, they're farmers with less than 50 hectares of oil palm, their principal source of income, and their family is the main source of labor. They're self-managed smallholders who are categorized as independent smallholders. They're also scheme or associated smallholders who are organized and bound to a mill. The key for them to be more successful in the future is to practice sustainability, which is beneficial for the people, the environment, and improves the quality of life. With this in mind, the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil 
or RSBO was created in 2004. It is a multi-stakeholder, non-profit organization that promotes the growth and use of sustainable oil palm through cooperation within the supply chain. RSBO certification can support smallholders in yield improvement through better access to international markets, raising levels of income among poor farmers, and reducing risk of land conversion which threatens our forest and biodiversity. RSBO certification is a symbol of credibility in showing that plantations are adopting sustainable practices. Here's how smallholders can get certified. First, they need to form a group. This group must have a group manager that can either be an individual or an entity such as an association, cooperative, trader, mill or a management company. The group manager must develop an internal control system to organize the farmers and monitor them to ensure compliance with the RSPO principles and criteria, or PNCs. Compliance with the PNCs involve a commitment to fulfill the eight principles. Therefore, this would require training that is relevant and needed by the group. In order to be audited, groups must be a member of RSPO. Once ready, the group can then approach a certification body to be audited. Being sustainable is the way forward for the palm oil industry, including the smallholders, as more and more organizations adopt the principle of sustainable development. Be part of the community who believes in sustainable development by embracing the RSBO principles and criteria. To find out more on RSBO certification, log on to rsbo.org or speak to an RSBO representative today. Together, let's transform the market to make sustainable palm oil the norm. Increasing demand for palm oil, huge areas of rainforest continue to be cleared, often using slash and burn techniques. These richly diverse ecosystems are replaced by endless rows of oil palm. Indonesia is the world's biggest producer of palm oil. It's also losing its forests at an alarming rate. In 1985, uh, Rio in Sumatra was covered by natural forests. The natural forest was the home for wild elephants and uh, wild tigers. But since the, uh, the industry came in into the province, that then start the deforestation. Setelah ada eh, pola KPPA ini ataupun penanaman sawit ini itu memang jauh perubahan daripada dulunya. Dulunya saya menjadi buruh eh, pekerja bangunan, namun sekarang saya cuma membantu-bantu abang saya untuk mengeluarkan buah sawit ini dengan hasil yang cukup lumayan tinggi dan sehingga bisa untuk menghidupi keluarga saya di rumah. Soal ekonomi waktu itu sangat melarat pak, susah sekali, makan pun susah. Semuanya itu udah merasakan hasilnya yang sempurna karena mereka udah bisa menyekolahkan anak. Mereka nggak pusing-pusing lagi untuk mencari biaya untuk sekolah.
Palm oil can be produced sustainably without clearing valuable forests and habitats. In fact, it's already starting to happen. The Round Table for Sustainable Palm Oil certifies companies and smallholders working towards producing palm oil in a way that doesn't harm people or the environment. PT Musim Mas was the first Indonesian company to achieve RSPO certification. It also ensures that its affiliated smallholders are RSPO certified, based on standards developed especially for them. Of course, being the first uh, company in Indonesia to obtain the RSPO certificate, uh, we are proud and uh, we hope that uh, other plantation company in Indonesia uh, will follow suit. In regards to smallholder or KKPA, PT Musimas uh, has developed two projects here, uh, which benefit 816 families, totaling uh, 1,638 hectares of area. WWF works with companies such as Musim Mas to train smallholders so they can attain the RSPO certificate. The certification process brings immediate environmental benefits like reductions in the use of chemicals and protection of valuable ecosystems. At the same time, RSPO farming methods enable farmers to produce higher yields, so increasing their profits which in turn means they don't have to expand their plantations into pristine forests. The RSPO certificate is a step in the right direction, but it will only succeed if consumers support it. Kepada pihak pembeli yang di luar lah, kami mengharapkan memang betul-betul mengambil apa CPO daripada ke kami yang telah mungkin nantinya mendapat sertifikat SPO ini. Jadi, pakai seluruhan Mungkin sudah lumayan berhasil, cuman masalah harganya apabila jauh di bawah nanti ekonomi kami yang sudah mulai mapan sehingga nanti ambruk lagi ke bawah.